Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam Negi and today I'm gonna show you another handwritten note taking application that is Notability. In my previous video, I have shown how you can work with Zoom Notes, which is also another handwritten note taking application. If you want to see my previous video about the Zoom Notes, then you can check the links in given description below. So this is the interface of Notability app. We can see in the left hand side, we have created the subjects and the structure of the subject is tree like. Now we are going to create a subject and a category or a divider which is used to categorize the created subjects. Now let's get started. If we see the upper left corner there is a third button from the left that is a plus button just tap on that. As soon as we tap the plus button the two options appear. The first one is to create the subject and the next one is to create the category. Now tap on create subject and uh, enter the name of the subject for example oh, mechanical Now we are going to make a divider uh, for example let's say uh, T E C H technical Now I want to add subject mechanical under the category technical for that just click on edit button and drag the subject below the technical divider and you are done. You just place the mechanical subject under the technical category or the divider that we have created. Now to create notes in mechanical subject just tap on notes icon which is first button at upper right corner. By default it assigns the name of the note by date and time of creation. Now let's have a look around the interface of the Notability app. Starting from the upper left corner, there is a back button. Next to it, there is a share button. Then there is an undo. After that, there are several editing options. First one is the text mode. Then there is a pencil. Then there is a highlighter, rubber, cut. And then there is a drag mode. Then uh, there is a sound recorder which facilitates us to take notes in the form of sound. Uh, let's for example, if you want to record um, an important lecture delivered by your professor, then we can do it. Uh, with the help of this record option then there is an import option which enable us to import image and pdf file etc then the, there is a setting and then there is a page option the last option in the page is at lower right corner which activate a zoom window which facilitate us to make notes more conveniently so let's start making notes in notability app with the help of the same zoom window in order to activate the zoom window just tap on it now we can see here the zoom window appears. This zoom window is showing the area of the main screen that is inside the rectangle. And we can set the size of rectangle as per our convenience. Now the zoom window also have the same editing tool of main window which help us to take notes. Now just tap on first icon that is pen and start writing on the zoom window. For example, hello there my name is Pritham. let's say uh, you write your own name and I am 24 years old now let's just close the zoom window and have a look over the text mode if you want to make your notes in the form of text mode then you can use this mode for example uh, the, hello there my name is let's say uh, XYZ and I live in no I'm, I'm gonna write something else the quick brown fox uh, jump over a lazy dog now let's have a look over the floating option in the text mode just tap on the text for the two seconds after selecting the text cut copy paste highlight and speak option appears which help us to manipulate the data and the change you want to make but here I'm going to leave it as it is because I just wanted to show you the option of the notability that it has. Now let's have a look over the fonts option. So basically it is showing 5 major fonts and there is an option of move fonts. So select the desired font that you want to have. So from here you can change the font. Now let's have a look over another data manipulating tool. So I'm gonna start with rubber. So here I'm trying to erase the text with the help of rubber but uh, as we can see that I'm not able to do that. The rubber tool is only applicable for the handwritten notes. Now let's have a look over the highlighter option. For that just tap on highlighter button. 
Now to highlight the text just place the stylus over it and you are done. Now let's try cut feature on the text. Tap on cut tool which enable free select option. Now select the data which you want to cut or move from its place. So as we are seeing this tool is not able to cut or move the text data. Now let's try it on the handwritten notes. So here I was able to select the data as well I was able to move it from its location which means it is only for the handwritten notes. Now let's try the recording feature of Notability. Tap on mic option and start recording voice automatically. After completion of recording you need to tap back again on the same mic option to stop the recording. And to listen your recording just tap on down arrow which show bunch of playback option of recorded sound like play pause, playback speed and option to delete the recorded sound. To delete the recorded sound just tap on setting and then there is an option of manage recording. Tap on manage recording then you will able to see all the recording that you have done for this particular note. And from here you can even delete the note. Now let's have a look over the page tool which is the rightmost option. Just tap on page option and it will show you all the pages that you have in this particular note. From here you can add cut copy page clear and delete the page. Furthermore this option also have a search tool. I think which is not that much impressive because it is not able to search the handwritten notes. For example we are searching my but it is not showing any result. Now let's try with the text mode. So for that just I'm just writing uh, the text down again. Um, my name is XYZ and I am from India now again I am trying to search my now this time search option is able to generate a result now let's see whether this tool is working for the one page or for the entire document for that what I'm gonna do I'm just going to add the sentence in another page and I will have a same you know same word in another page as well so that we will see whether it is showing one result or more than one result. Now I'm just going to write in another page but there will be at least one repetitive word so that it can search in a both page and we will verify the search tool. So in the second page I'm just going to write India word again and we will see whether our search tool is able to find it or not. So I'm just going to write India is amazing and now I'm just typing India in the search bar and just I'm going to see uh, whether it is showing two results or one result so uh, now I have searched and it is showing me the two results this means that the search option search the entire document not the single page now move on to sharing option which is second option from the upper left here we have different different option of sharing the note like google drive dropbox etc moreover there are option of exporting the document into another format like pdf furthermore there is a separate option of attaching recordings to export we can also share the note with the help of share note to different different application inside the ipad itself just tap on share note and it will show whole bunch of application with whom you can export or share your note now coming back to main user interface let's have a look over the general settings the first setting here is auto backup option which automatically backup all your data and all your notes to your online drive like uh, google drive or dropbox account the next option is to manage the account that is you can add your google drive or you know dropbox account to that Next one is iCloud. You can also uh, keep your notes in your iCloud account. To activate backup on the iCloud, just click on the option button and it automatically uh, will backup all your data in your iCloud account as well. And in the same way, you can turn it off. The next option is theme, which facilitates us to change the interface. Currently, there are total five themes available from home, two are free and three are paid. Moving to the next option which is document, here we can set our default note title uh, which is currently note and we can include or exclude date and time uh, with the note from the default note title. You can set default note paper as well. Now coming to typing tab, there is an option of default font. So uh, just clicking on, on the font 
uh, we have a whole bunch of font available from here we can set a default font for all our notes we can select the size we can select the style like bold italic or underline and uh, we can select the color of the font there is a auto correction option and tap anywhere option tap anywhere option enable us to write anywhere on page now moving to handwriting option there is an option uh, that is tap and hold this option activate the zoom window whenever we tap screen for more than two seconds and then there is a left-handed mode for the left-handed person then there is software palm detection option which is one of the best i have seen which became better and better with time now with better palm detection you can easily write in your ipad screen even with the passive pen which is great as you do not have to purchase any active stylus only for palm detection as they cost much more as compared to the price of the app so in my opinion this is the wonderful option that let us write on the screen by placing our palm over the screen moving to next option that is ios sleep timer when we enable this option the ipad did not go to sleep mode till the time we are using notability the last and one of the best features of notability that i'm going to share with you is we can secure our notes by creating password for each and every subject though this feature is not mandatory but very useful by preventing them to access personal notes and memory from others so for example i'm going to create a new subject let's say that is refrigeration and air conditioning and uh, just we need to go on password tab and now here we need to enter password confirm it again and that's all go back and try to open refrigeration air conditioning subject it will ask for password so this was notability app from jinjalabs.com for ipad and this was one of the best handwriting note taking application that is built for ipad in my next video i'm going to review another handwritten note taking application that is good notes so thank you very much for now if you like this video then please give it up a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you soon